So good. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Barrett, and welcome to another Entertainment on High's Got the Munchies. Sorry if I sound a little plugged up. I'm still fighting a cold. I was in the supermarket recently, and I seen a new brand of a cane sugar soda called Cyberpunk, and they had some interesting flavors, so I grabbed one of each one. There's a total of four that we will be trying today. Daryl and I will uh, show you the can here. They're rather tall and large. They're 473 milliliters, and they have a cartoon image of a, of a woman in some kind of a power suit, a power armor or something like that with futuristic background and stuff. So the first flavor we're going to try is Vanilla Cherry Supernova. Very cyberpunkish. No. Really? Okay. I can't. I can't smell shit. Hopefully, my taste is better. Oh, it's a very dark color. Maybe a little bit better of a pour. That's why I didn't make any coffee this morning because I knew we were going to be drinking this and buzzing after we were done, probably. All right, that's pretty fucking close. All right. Well, all right. This one will be yours. All right, so here is our first sips of Vanilla Cherry Supernova Cyberpunk Cane Sugar Soda. Now that just rolls right off the tongue. All right, cheers. Tastes like cough syrup. I get a faint hint of vanilla and the cherry really comes in and wallops you. I don't know. I, I Daryl likes it. He's giving it a thumb up. Give me a sec. I gotta try another sip. Well, They've been in the fridge for a few days now. They're nice and cold, so it's pretty refreshing that way. Not typically a big fan of like vanilla Coke or any of those. They're like fucking, they're so fucking gross. But I wasn't sure if I was even gonna like this one, but I'm just gonna, it's growing on me. It's not bad. I don't know if I'd get it again, but. I think it's trying to be like a, a Dr. Pepper or something. What do you think? Yeah. Right. Well, whatever. I mean, it wasn't awful. Like I said, it was nice and cold. It's really refreshing. And it's actually, it kind of grew on me. But I, I honestly don't know if I would buy, buy too many more of them. Here's our second one. It is interstellar root beer flavored. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. Now these were approximately, I think they were just under $3 a piece in Canadian. Excuse me. So, I mean, not as expensive as a Red Bull or a, a Monster or any of those other energy drinks. Or, or big pops for that matter. Actually, you know what? How much would you pay for a Pepsi? Probably less than three bucks. Two, two, two bucks, yeah. Three bucks. A little cheaper. All right. Well, I'm a huge fan of root beer, so I'm looking forward to this one. Are you ready? All right. Here we go to some interstellar root beer. I don't know if my taste buds are off because I'm sick. Or if this is just as funky as I think it is. It's got this weird, like when you first take a sip of it, at least for me, I get this weird taste in my mouth. And then as I'm swallowing, then it tastes like every other root beer I've ever had. Do you find it weird or does it taste normal to you? Normal. Yeah? Well, all right. I guess it must just be me. 
Hmm. Yeah, my first initial sip tastes a little off, but then it tastes like a normal root beer and it's not bad. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on this so far. I might not just be high enough. So I'm going to have another quick little hoot and then we're going to have these last two. Saving the, the two that I thought we might like the best until last. So... Made. Oh, it looks like they're made here in Saskatchewan. Hmm. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. All right, our third flavor, excuse me, carbonated soda is getting me every time, <coughs> is called Cosmic Berry. Oh, okay, I can smell this one. Uh, all right, it's like radioactive blue. Here, I'm just gonna hand you yours right now there, bud. There you go. Right? Oh yeah, this one has got, like the other two didn't have a very strong smell for me because I'm so plugged up, but I can smell this blue stuff. All right, so here we go. We are going to try the Cosmic Berry. All right, again, cheers. These are all really, really sweet. That's one thing they do have in common. Kind of tastes like a blue raspberry pop. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I uh, I don't drink a lot of blue raspberry stuff like Kool Aid or I don't think they really make too many pops that taste like this. But they are all of them so far okay. I don't think I'd buy them again, but they're not awful. I'm trying to remember where where did I say I found these? Save on. I think I was at Save On Foods. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting fucking bloated on fucking pop. I can see why you didn't want to drink these the other day. We tried these other drinks uh, yesterday while filming. There's these uh, Thailand drinks called Mogu Mogu that we were doing. And we had also had a coffee and you know I, I suggested we try these cyberpunks then and Daryl was like no please no too fucking full and now I, I see what he means all right well cosmic berry wasn't bad I guess but they all have this weird offsetting taste at first that kind of put me off and our last and final one, obviously it would be the final if it's the last one, and the one I'm looking forward to the most. It is called Atomic Grape. God, I hope this one's good, man. Wow. Okay, yeah, well these last two have got very strong smell. Yeah, I don't know. If you're getting as full as I am, I, I don't think I'll give you as much either this time. It smells awesome. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here are our final tries. Here's to Atomic Grape. I hope it's good. It's good as a blueberry. You don't, you don't like it as much. No, it's good, but still, I like the blueberry. You like this one better? Well, there's a slight difference of opinion. Like I said, I don't mind the other three, but so far, thankfully, yeah, I, I love that. This is my favorite one. The grape is my favorite. Yeah. I don't know. When I saw them, I thought they looked a little cheesy with their art. Like, I mean, it's not a like, 
the art just looks a little funky to me too I guess but I thought why not yeah I might buy the grape again but I don't think I'd buy the other ones oh, pardon me right that's it for this entertainment on highs got the munchies video I'd really like to thank you for stopping and watching it and if you could like our video and subscribe to the channel we'd really appreciate it all right take care and have yourself a good day